My name is Inez Nacera, and I play Dorothy in The Wiz. Uh, and I'm Christopher Michael Richardson, and I play the lion in the ways. Now I'm familiar with you, and I'm, we're gonna, I'm gonna get, we're gonna have to have drinks cool. later. And cool, cool. So I'm we down. Get to know each other. Okay. Yeah. So, and you all are from the DC theater area. What is your connection to DC? Theater? Yeah. So I grew up in Montgomery County, moved all around Montgomery County, and have been in DC for a long time, and also Baltimore. Mm -hmm. I went to school in Towson. We count uh, that too. Yeah. All right. that. All that. <laughs> all that. Baltimore. Yeah. Uh, so I've been doing theater professionally since I did Signature Theater's Overtures program, which is this intensive program for two weeks. And after that, I booked a show, I think like a week after Overtures and just kind of kept working after that in DC. And I love it here. It's a great community, amazing actors, great theaters, and amazing opportunities for people to excel in the arts. So, yeah. Yeah, well, I um, actually was born in D.C. at GW, mm -hmm. but then my family moved back to Richmond, which is where I like to spend a lot of my life. But uh, after doing National Players here, Tour 65, um, I just decided it was the right place for me to move after like an out-of-town out acting internship. And so I came back and, you know, just sort of picked things up and picked work up since then. And I'm just excited to be with these like, oh, lovely sure. and amazing people, <laughs> finally, and like be doing some really awesome work. So. Yeah. Yeah. Now, with The Wiz, I mean, for me, it's like something that inspired me to be an actor. For, you know, is there a special memory or something of the stage or the movie that resonates with you before you got into this play? You go first. Yeah, I mean, I think, for me, I actually saw my older cousin do Aunt M in The Wiz in high school. And I always, like, you know, she I love her so much. And she was always, like, inspiring to me because of her singing voice and her talent in that. And then so after seeing that and then seeing the Diana Ross movie, I was sort of like, oh, I love this. But doing the show is such a different beast, it's such a different thing to create from the ground up. Mm -hmm. And so it's just been, like, exciting to revisit it and be like, oh, this isn't what I thought it was. And this is much longer. And oh, what is, how did I miss this whole like 10 minute portion of the story, you know, that I didn't even know existed, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, for me actually, I'm glad you spoke first because I remembered that I actually did it in high school, but I was in the pit, I was a pit singer for the show. I was like too afraid to audition for the show. And I was like, well, I still want to do it. So I'll be in the pit and actually, Justine Morrell, who's a local actor in the area, Filipino actor, she was our Dorothy. We went to high school together, which was awesome. I don't think I've told you that, but yeah. She was Dorothy and she was amazing. Uh, so my first memory of The Wiz was that, and I remember loving the music so much and, and being able to play around with the instrumentalists and sing along was so much fun. And yeah, seeing the movie and being like, Michael Jackson is the greatest person ever. And <laughs> just yes. killing Scarecrow is awesome. That was so smart, you. <laughs> I wish I thought of that. Indications are it would be very advantageous for me to join. Now, uh, here at Ford's, that it is an all-black cast, a black director, black choreographer, black costume designer, music director. What is that experience like? It feels so good to know that being yourself is allowed and enough, and it's so natural and it just feels mm -hmm. good to be able to be yourself as a black person and not someone else's vision of a black person and we're all very different and but we all share beautiful qualities that make us uh, really unique and vivacious and sincere community and it, it's so nice I feel like Kent one of the things that I'll, I'll take away from this experience is his leadership on how black is beautiful and how uh, black people can just excel and they do and being able to just do our thing as black people in a show not necessarily like being a black person it's just we are happen to be black in the show doing these very historical things is really powerful yes yes all of <laughs> yeah. that all of that and then I mean just to like even like go back to a point that you made to be black and that not to be the only thing right it's one thing to be a black person in the cast and to be funny and to be the funny black person and then like that's what you are but it's 
you get to see so many shades of what it is to just be an actual person. And that's one of like the great things that I feel like gets lost sometimes. Like it's an all black cast and you know, we have a black director and choreographer and a musical director and costume designer and that is amazing. But because of that, we get to be ourselves and it doesn't have to be about us being like the, like the diversity inclusion, right? We're able to be, ourselves in mm -hmm. a very like natural way mm -hmm. and love each other and love each other for who we are and it it kind of brings full like circle the the story of the ways of like mm -hmm. just realizing that you are enough and that you can be enough right. in your everyday oh, life that's beautiful that's yes. beautiful yeah. now my final question to you is that i know there are a ton of dream roles in the world of theater was this that on your bucket list of dream roles for you I never thought I would play this role. Really? <laughs> Ever. Um, because of the Wizard of Oz or because No, of the... just I just never thought I would play this role. I I it was never on my I never was like, ew, I hate Dorothy or the way. But I just never thought I would play this role. It's very demanding and and challenging, but I'm so I'm so thankful to have this opportunity and Kent saw something that I didn't see and just pushed this character out of me and I am forever in debt and so thankful for him for believing in me. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, I guess for me, I would just say yes, yes, uh, yes, but I never thought I would do it this way. This I never way. thought I would do the role in the way that I'm doing it in this show. Gentlemen! Little mama, of course, may I fill out your foursome? I thought that I would be sort of pigeonholed into like the, the sort of lineage of the role and to sort of like where it comes from in The Wizard of Oz. And so to be able to have a truly like my take on what's going on and to get the chance to play, I mean, again, Kent really brings something out of you. He really he draws out of you the, the fullness of what could be in a role, and it allows you to really see yourself. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. You all have time to go and do what you got to do. Now. Yes. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. So Thank, Thank you for having us. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you.